relating to the very hot issues of the climate change and uh, how Vietnam fighting the climate change with uh, bamboo. That is the one kind of uh, a very uh, popular uh, plant in Vietnam. And uh, I, I hope that uh, through this uh, short lecture, uh, you could have an overview about the bamboo in Vietnam and how we uh, develop the bamboo forest in Vietnam in order to fight the climate change and to be sustained uh, in Vietnam. So, uh, my name is Phuong and uh, I work for the uh, Vietnam National University of Forestry uh, in short we call it VNUS. Uh, look at the map you may see this is uh, Vietnam and uh, our university, the main office located in Hanoi, that is the capital of Vietnam. And uh, we have a second campus in the south. Have you ever heard about Ho Chi Minh City? That is the biggest uh, city in Vietnam. And uh, the second campus is located in uh, Dong Nai province, just a uh, very neighbor province with uh, Ho Chi Minh City. And uh, recently, this year, we have a third campus in the central highland uh, in uh, uh, Gia Lai province. And all of those three campus are very near the airport, so you can easily access us uh, through plane. And uh, uh, our university offering the 20, 25 measure in the undergraduate course, uh, 10 uh, measure in master course, and six measure in the PhD course. Uh, and uh, if you are uh, interested in Vietnam and in forestry in general, and, uh, uh, you may come to our university and do some type of research here. I'm very happy to collaborate with you. And, uh, myself, uh, my name is Phuong. Uh, my major is uh, Wookiees and uh, I got my PhD in Japan uh, a couple of years ago in 2007 and my research interests are thermal modification of wood, wood composite and the wood anatomy. So I also stuff as a uh, uh, coordinator under the IUFR uh, research group, uh, wood composite and uh, reconstituted products. And, um, Okay, and, uh, today uh, I would like to talk with you something relating to the climate change. As you may know that uh, uh, because of the uh, global carbon emission, uh, that is one of the main causes for the climate change and the temperature rise. And uh, look at the charts, you may see that to the past 100 years, the carbon emission increasing uh, nearly 20 times from something in between 500 uh, million uh, tons of uh, carbon, uh, 10,000 uh, million tons of carbon. And uh, uh, in order to stop it, uh, we have to reduce the carbon emission. And uh, many countries work together uh, to stop it. And uh, where the carbon emission come from? Uh, look at this uh, next uh, chart. You may see that there are many costs. Uh, by the economic uh, development, uh, such as uh, through the electricity and the heat production uh, we use from the uh, fossil fuel, uh, coal or oil or other things. Uh, the other thing, one of the main reasons is because of agricultural practice. Uh, we expanding the, we change the land use uh, purpose uh, from forestry to convert into the agricultural crop. And in Vietnam, this uh, process happened seriously. And uh, because of forest degradation and forest uh, deforestation, uh, the forest loss, uh, that's uh, one of the main causes for the greenhouse gas emission. And uh, the other thing is also from the building. And when we use a uh, building material with uh, uh, concrete, steel, glass, and uh, not the uh, 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 environmental friendly material uh, then uh, like uh, we did before like uh, food or for example bamboo in this case uh, and then also generate uh, the uh, greenhouse gas emission and some other things like industry or transportation when we use uh, fuel and also by burning the, our fuel uh, like gas and then we generate oxide for greenhouse gas so uh, why bamboo uh, First, if you look at this chart, you may see if we can keep the forest and enrich the forest, uh, or we can substitute the building material by uh, uh, some trad traditional material like wood or bamboo, it is uh, one of the good options. 
And the way Vietnam is doing, it's, uh, I think, is uh, uh, to promote using a boot or promote using a bamboo in specific, so that we can enrich our forest, or we also can uh, propose uh, the application of the, uh, the bamboo in the building uh, uh, sector, or we also can produce some some products for our daily life uh, from bamboo, and I can show you in the, my slide later on. So if you look at the map, you may see that uh, the bamboo resource uh, under the report of the IMBA, that is International Network of Bamboo and Rattan, uh, in the 2010, you may see that the bamboo distribution is surrounding the equatorial, uh, like in, the, in our area, uh, the Southeast Asia, also China, uh, India, or the America uh, here, or, or some part of uh, Africa. Unfortunately, maybe in Russia, I'm, I'm not sure if you have uh, bamboo or not, but it seems to me that it's not much. Uh, no distribution, is, no data about this. And look at the, the data in detail. You may see that in Asia, this is the richest bamboo forest. It's more than 17 million hectares. And uh, South America, uh, like Brazil or Argentina, is the surrounding the Amazon forest. We, we have about more than 10 million hectares. In Africa, about 3.6 million hectares. Totally in the world, we have 31 million hectares. In, in Vietnam, Vietnam, where is this? Uh, it's in the Southeast Asia. And um, uh, we have, uh, we are located in the Indochina Peninsula, uh, that is uh, in the north is China, uh, and we have uh, Laos and Cambodia as uh, the neighbor con uh, countries. And uh, we have one roughly 1.4 million hectares of bamboo forests. We can rank at top four in Asia, behind China, India, Laos, under the data uh, statistic from files in the 2010. So, what is the benefit so, when we use bamboo uh, as a sustainable building material? Uh, there are uh, several uh, uh, advantages or uh, uh, benefits of using bamboo, like, as you may know, that this is the fastest growing plant in the world. It can grow up 90 centimeters per day, and it does not require replanting. This is one of the very unique things that uh, generally when you uh, plant a, a forest, for example, from the tree, you have to plant it and in the rotation for, for example, in Vietnam, in case of cassia, it takes seven or ten years, and then you cut it clear cut and then replanting it. In case of bamboo, you don't need to replant, but it's one of the very unique benefit from bamboo forest because you can selectively cut it in the clump and when the bamboo forest exists, uh, then the, uh, you can uh, have the forest forever. And uh, the rotation is very short comparing to the, the tree. It just takes four or five years uh, for the uh, harvesting. And of course, bamboo is a plant, uh, biomaterial, and it can, can be biodegradable. 100%. It's not like plastic or other things. And uh, it can store up to 600 tons of carbon per hectare. This is a big number, right? And this is why I can say that uh, bamboo forest is one of the good tools to fight uh, against the climate change by stocking the, the carbon stock in, in the forest. Not only above the ground, but also under the ground because it is a very complicated uh, root system. And uh, bamboo also provide low carbon alternative to material, including timber. And as you may know that it can remove carbon dioxide from the air 3.5% more efficiently than uh, timber itself. So my talk, I would like to talk uh, some brief information about the bamboo forest in Vietnam because of the time limit, I will talk uh, some typical bamboo species in Vietnam too. Uh, like to introduce you a giant bamboo that may be useful for the building material. Also some other for, for the handicraft, for weaving, or making a small thing for daily life. I also talk a little bit about the bamboo cum, its properties and how it, it can be processed into the products. And a little bit about the product value chains and some challenges and potential for development of bamboo industry in Vietnam. And uh, look at this slide, you may see that uh, bamboo is a subfamily of bamboo soida, a grass family, Posea, 
and gramming assay. And they have a 75 genera and approximately 1,300 species and variety. Bamboo can be used for many purposes, and one of them is food. You can eat bamboo shoot. And uh, the second thing is uh, its material come from the corn. Uh, it look like uh, timber itself. And one more thing is can be uh, generated energy by burning. And uh, the corn could be used as material for construction material, for scaffolding, for handicraft products, for furniture and such as for the material for secondary products like bamboo mat, board, flooring, and uh, over 1 million people living on bamboo uh, house, as you may know. And generally, there are two, two types of bamboo. One is dense clump, that means the bamboo grew up in one clump, and in that clump, there are uh, all kinds of generation exists in that clump including the young one, the equal shoot, or the little bit uh, uh, chai one, maybe one years old, two years old bamboo, or even if a uh, 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 grand one, that, that means five or six years old. And we also have a single stem bamboo. A single stem bamboo is uh, the bamboo grow individually. It looks like tree, so it's not grow in a clump. And there are two kinds. And, uh, generally in the uh, cooler area uh, like uh, north of Vietnam or south China, we have a uh, single stem one. And for the dense clump, uh, like the warmer climate like Vietnam or the Southeast Asia, Thailand or Indonesia, we have a uh, dense clump more. And uh, look at this picture. Uh, in detail, you may see that we can use everything from the bamboo including its leaves, its roots, its calm, its, its young one, mean bamboo shoot, all of the things from many part of this. If you, uh, I don't want to talk in too much detail about this, but all of these is can be used. Just for example, the leaf. The leaf can be used for manna, uh, that means the fertilizer for the, for the tree, also for the food, uh, that means some cattle can eat, or even if you can provide the food for fish itself or we can extract the, the leaf for getting the extractive or the deriving some chemical compound that could be good for medicine itself. And uh, they have many applications from the, the bamboo, uh, as you may see in the, the slide. Uh, because of the time limit, I don't want to talk too much on this, but uh, later on you can have my presentation and you can have a look on this. And even if at the root system, because reason, uh, uh, you can use for handicraft too, that is uh, number one here. Uh, handicraft uh, many function. You can be, uh, you can imagine later uh, in my talk, I will show you. Okay, so if you look at the work bamboo market, uh, you may see that there are um, many applications of the bamboo itself. This is a little bit out of date data, but uh, you can uh, give you a, a visualize uh, uh, the, the, the market share of the bamboo products. Uh, so first, we can talk about the bamboo shoot. It's the one of very delicious, providing uh, good nutrition, vitamins, and uh, a type of vegetable, and we cook it daily. Uh, and uh, a bamboo handicraft, that is, they have been used traditionally for a long time, especially in Vietnam. And the industrial bamboo, uh, that is a bamboo product that we uh, process through uh, in the factory uh, to make for example, chopstick, activated carbon, charcoal, or carpentry furniture, blend, flooring, furniture, and so on. Uh, so this is uh, some picture uh, that uh, you may see uh, it in the more detail. And this is uh, the bamboo suit, the yellow one here. And you can uh, use it or cook it with some meat or frying it, or you can make a soup from the bamboo shoot. It's very delicious. And generally in a year, you can harvest uh, the bamboo shoot one, one time uh, during the rainy season. So when the, the young bamboo grew up, and then you may harvest uh, some of them and keep some remain uh, to grow up, to become a, a bamboo tree later on. And uh, uh, this is charcoal. Uh, you can make from the, the, the bamboo cum itself or some furniture. Uh, 
like chair table in your, your room and uh, many handicrafts. And, um, in Vietnam, under the National Forest Inventory in the year 2016, uh, we have the forest land. It's about roughly 13.6 million hectare. And it cover about 41% of forest cover in Vietnam. And in, in, in that forest land, we have a 10% roughly about the bamboo forest. It's a natural forest from bamboo is uh, this number, uh, 241,000 hectare and mixed forest. Uh, we have a, a, the pure forest uh, from bamboo and we also have a mixed forest uh, that's uh, mix between bamboo forest and the uh, woody forest, the timber. And for the plantation uh, bamboo forest, we have uh, more than 70,000 hectare of loam. Uh, this is one of the giant bamboo uh, popularly planted in Vietnam. And uh, uh, generally, uh, we can harvest about 500 million tons uh, annually uh, in Vietnam, uh, that's providing material for many uh, proposed uh, buildings. Uh, oh. okay. Sorry. And uh, I would like to, to talk something about uh, some typical bamboo species in Vietnam. Uh, we I, we uh, divide into two groups. Uh, first group is the Jan bamboo, because Luang is in Dendrocarmus bambusa, and Bung, this is Dendrocarmus asta, which is a very big one. The head is 13, 15 meter, the diameter is uh, 100 or 120 millimeter, and the wall thickness is from 10 to 12 millimeter, and the nose length is uh, 20 to 30 centimeter, and the year is about 39 tons per hectare per year. The year is quite high, I think, uh, comparing. Yeah, sorry, I have a call. And um, the smaller bamboo, because Nua or Zhang, this is a scientific name of that uh, species. And uh, look at this, you may compare uh, the, on the right side, it is a bigger bamboo, and the left side is a smaller bamboo with a smaller, uh, lower head, a smaller diameter, a thinner wall of thickness, and shorter note length, and so on. And based on these bamboo, we can produce many kinds of uh, products like handicraft, base, and other things that I got in there. And uh, you can waving it to make a handicraft uh, by the uh, the woman in the uh, in the, the village. Yeah, and this is some picture, and you can visualize it easily uh, based on the uh, dimension we talked before. And this is a zang, uh, this is a bamboo from the Maicho uh, district in Huabin province. Uh, uh, this uh, species is a uh, uh, in the natural forest. And uh, uh, we in Vietnam uh, is allowed to cut the, the bamboo from the natural forest because it is just selectively cutting that uh, we just cut the major one and then we can, uh, for, the daily, uh, for the daily use, and we can uh, still keep the forest and, and which is the forest uh, go up later. And another one is the newer bamboo, uh, also in Maicho district in Hoa Binh province, just neighbor of Hanoi. And this is a photo taken by Man Sa. This is the one of master students from the Technical University of Dresden. I supervised him a couple of years ago. Uh, he tried to understand the uh, value chains. He tried to analyze this to the value chains of the bamboo products from the forest and in the market. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay. And this is a Luang. This is a one of the most important bamboo uh, for Vietnam. Uh, that Luang bamboo is uh, in the Thanh Hoa province. Uh, not so far from Hanoi, it's just, uh, 150 kilometers away from the Hanoi capital. And, uh, the area is quite large, 70,000. This is uh, the largest uh, bamboo plantation uh, for one species in Vietnam, named Luang. And in the natural forest, we have 80,000 uh, hectare, in which uh, most of them are pure bamboo, and there are some 1,000, 2,000 hectare are mixed bamboo. And, uh, Especially for Tenghua province, uh, they, we can harvest in about 40,000, 40 million comes annually for Luang, and the other 50,000, 50 million comes uh, for other bamboo species. 
this is providing a very, how can I say, the, providing a, a lot of uh, material for the industry purpose. And uh, I just want to give you a very uh, simple or basic knowledge that bamboo and wood are different. Uh, just in terms of uh, this structure, uh, you may see that uh, this is a cross section of this from the tree. And uh, generally, uh, for the tree, the inner part is better quality and stronger uh, comparing to other parts. Other part is a step wood, and the inner part is a hot wood. But bamboo is very different. The outer part is very strong, but the inner part is hollow, and uh, uh, closing to the outer part is poorer quality. Uh, and uh, because of that, the structure difference, uh, so we have to use bamboo in a different way comparing to the, the wood itself. And uh, bamboo is a uh, forest species for the poor uh, because uh, the young shoots and uh, the same can be exploited uh, sustainably every year. Uh, remember that you can cut it every year, but without harming the plant. And this is a very unique thing and uh, it's also supporting the uh, livelihood for the local people in the, in the forest area, in the rural area. Okay, uh, there are some other slides to talk about the, uh, the bamboo, the difference between the, I mean, the material property, uh, different between the bamboo and uh, wood. This is a soft wood, this is hard wood. Uh, that may be because of the time limit. I don't want to talk much on this, but uh, just to give you one uh, uh, information is that uh, the bamboo grew up and uh, uh, through the growing, uh, Generally, after one year, it, uh, it reached the head of the bamboo, but uh, uh, the later year, uh, the second, third, or fourth years, uh, the, the, the cell, or the, the fiber of the, the bamboo itself uh, will be thickening uh, the, the wall, and then it becomes denser and becomes stronger. And uh, the fiber of the, uh, the fiber structure of the bamboo is a little bit uh, uh, complicated comparing to the wood. And uh, if you look at this, uh, this is for the wood and this is for the bamboo. Bamboo, they have a nine layer of wood, they just have a three layer. So that's why, and the fiber from the bamboo is also strong, uh, longer and stronger comparing to the wood. So if you try to use a bamboo fiber uh, for some application, like uh, even if making a textile or making the paper, the quality is quite, quite good and it's much stronger than comparing to the fiber from wood itself. Okay, and uh, I'm trying to skip those things because uh, the time. Uh, but one thing, if you look at the chemical composition between the bamboo and the wood, you may see that uh, uh, most of the main components like cellulose, hemicellulose, and lignin are very similar between bamboo and wood. But extracted uh, from bamboo is much more than comparing to the wood. And uh, that's why when you look at this material, uh, you have to think about or keep in mind that it's the extractive means is providing food that is easily be mowed by fungi. And uh, that means suggests that the durability of the bamboo is not as same as the wood itself. So we have to keep in mind on that when we further process to make a product from the bamboo. And the other thing is ash. Uh, for the bamboo, they have a very high ratio of ash, more than 1%. But ash in the, the wood is less than 0.1%. And the ash, uh, uh, mostly uh, from bamboo, is a silicon, the silicon compound on the, on the outer skin of the bamboo. If you look at bamboo, you see the, the green color. And in that part, uh, you may detect a lot of uh, silicon uh, component, mineral on it. To make uh, the bamboo is very hard and tough. Okay, and uh, what is this? Okay, I want to show you some products made by bamboo uh, here in Vietnam. Uh, we call it uh, handicraft from bamboo and industrial bamboo. Look at those two pictures. They are all furniture, right? Chair and table. But on the left side, you may see that is a traditional one using original bamboo. And the joy is uh, wrapping by some uh, uh, rope uh, made by rattan or the bamboo itself. And you don't change the structure of the material much. But in the, on the uh, uh, right hand, uh, uh, 
you may see that this is also chain table, but it's based from the laminated bamboo. So we process the bamboo and glue it up and then make a, a board and then we further process to make a like chair or table like this. So we categorize into two groups, uh, bamboo handicraft and industrial bamboo products. And uh, we're also we're producing building. Uh, this is a, a restaurant made by bamboo uh, uh, by the architecture of here. He's one of the famous architecture in Vietnam. And uh, he's trying to promote uh, the, the, the using of bamboo for the public uh, construction like a restaurant or some um, public house, uh, uh, not only in the rural area, but also in uh, many resorts uh, in Vietnam. And uh, if you, as I put the uh, website, uh, the link for his, uh, he also trying to make a, a company and then you can uh, see many, many, many of these, uh, uh, how can I say, the, um, project uh, uh, with bamboo uh, here in Vietnam. And uh, we're also practicing the, some uh, traditional way of uh, making the bamboo house uh, for the private use, uh, like uh, the roof may come from bamboo, a leaf and the uh, uh, wall or the structure come from the bamboo itself. And this is uh, one of the buildings uh, named Sun Lai in the northern part of Vietnam, uh, Red River Delta. We're practicing and producing the, 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 private, ha the private bamboo house. And, uh, we also have uh, some furniture uh, come from the, the bamboo and uh, all kinds of bed or bling or the furniture in the, in the, the like this chair or table or the lamp also can come from the bamboo itself. And, uh, uh, even if the, the bicycle you see, uh, you may see uh, that uh, we also use the bamboo. Uh, we, of course, we have to select the, the, the the specific types of bam bamboo species, not all kinds of bamboo can be used, and it must be a good quality enough with some treatment, and then it also top and can be used. And this is a traded one. It's not the, in the laboratory scale, but it's a traded one, and people are very excited with this uh, using this type of, uh, of bicycle. And uh, we also have to making a cup uh, from the bamboo, or we can use uh, making many kinds of uh, product from the bamboo. And here, by promoting using the, the product from bamboo, we also can stop uh, the carbon and uh, keep the, uh, the, the carbon in uh, for a longer time, uh, so that we also can reduce the greenhouse gas uh, by, by promoting using bamboo. And this is one of another product made from the, the bamboo, so it's called rig mat. And uh, this is, you can make the temporary road uh, to enter uh, the, the forest for mining uh, because, uh, for example, we export this kind of product to Canada and they, try, they have uh, some mining in the forest and they're trying to make a temporary road so that the truck can enter. So this type of brick mat uh, can be uh, used uh, to, to make a temporary road like that. And uh, this, this is uh, just in here, or you can see this is the road, temporary road. Uh, you can, or we can make a chops. A chop board, chop, chopping board, and then for cooking, and this is a kitchen, and this is a decking uh, outside flooring. And, uh, okay. and, uh, or some uh, laminated uh, vernier uh, for decorative purpose. Even if uh, uh, Toyota, uh, this is one of the famous car making, and uh, uh, car in the, this is the Lexus car, and uh, they're trying to make a wheel, uh, driving wheel uh, from bamboo. Touching this very, uh, the feeling is very nice, and uh, the customer also excited with this kind of uh, a product made from bamboo itself. So there are many applications from the bamboo, not uh, limited uh, to the furniture, but also are many other applications with a high added value in it. And the strand urban bamboo is one another kind of bamboo that uh, we trying to. Uh, in practice, the bamboo, of course, we strip it out and remove the skin, and then we uh, steam it and uh, dip it into the glue and then uh, cold press to make a, a big lumber like this. And this guy of strand woven bamboo uh, is also uh, high density, very strong, and can be used for, for the, uh, construction application or for the making the 
structure use uh, furniture or other thing flooring and the uh, laminate the flooring from the bamboo or we can make a composite uh, made from bamboo uh, composite between bamboo and uh, vernia wooden vernia steel vernia or we can make a laminate or uh, bamboo uh, and then you can make a chair or table like this or many handicraft uh, from the industrial product uh, from bamboo like this and, okay. and uh, not only that we also can make the bamboo form work uh, in order to make a high-rise building especially very popular in vietnam in hanoi city for example we need the form work and the phenolic theme on the cover and then uh, the, the corp uh, it could come from the bamboo. It can be used from the, making a mat like this, and by the mat you can press to make a bamboo mat panel, and it's very uh, strong and it can be used for the uh, for work and uh, it could be used uh, for the construction purpose. Quite nice. I also put the the name of the company here, and if you are interested in, you can access to that website and then see see more information on it. Okay. And uh, chopstick or barbecue, if you have a stick to stick the, the beat together, uh, it could be come from the, the, the bamboo or uh, charcoal, or we have a bed like this, uh, where we rely on, on the bedroom, uh, on, on the bed, and it's it also very uh, cool and comfortable in the summertime here in Vietnam. People like it very much. Okay, this is a, a value chain of bamboo uh, from the supply to the production and to the market. And there are many applications from bamboo, like food, flooring, furniture, handicraft, paper, activated carbon, and pellet. And, uh, uh, this is the brief information for you to see. And then a lot of challenges and some potential for development of bamboo forest in Vietnam. Uh, the raw material is very fast growing, like grass, you see, the grass grow very fast. And it's strong and more durable than the hardwood in some cases if you can treat it. Uh, but the insufficiency and uh, instability of seasonal supply, and the food supply annually, uh, the tree for the poor, and very short rotation, like shorter time for planting uh, than wood. And there are some disease, uh, uh, that is the risk for the development of the bamboo forest in Vietnam, like pests, some fungi or insects attack the, the, the bamboo tree. And uh, for the labor uh, is uh, aging uh, because uh, the young people now love living in the city and uh, that's why just uh, aged people are now uh, staying in the rural area uh, to engage with uh, the, the forest and uh, to go after the plant. And most of them are untrained. And there's been the, uh, for the processing, it has been a less pushing and some out there technology that is there's some pollution. And uh, so that uh, you need to optimize that value chain in order to sustain uh, the, this industry. Okay, so I hope that my talk, I can uh, give you some very basic information about the bamboo in Vietnam and how bamboo can contribute to, to fight against the climate change in Vietnam and some result in Vietnam so far. And I hope that uh, you may uh, enjoy my talk and uh, if you have any questions, I'm very happy to answer. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>